Hello. What's up? One second. Audio. Oop. There we are. Hey, ho, oh, hello. We're here. Yes, I did some off stream grinding. Um, 20 minutes ago. Because <laughs> I was like, it's not going to be fun for anyone to sit here. And watch me do this. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Especially since we're going to have to catch our other Pokemon and stuff. Figured we'd save that time. And don't worry, Vanpy didn't learn anything overly useful. It just got Defense Curl. So, that's where he's at. And Chikorita went up A level. Hope everyone's good! Hello, Steam Deck! Uh, I have five Pokeballs. And no money. So I think I'm going to go ahead and move on the route, and we'll catch things later. Forward momentum is my hope for today. And uh, that's the name of the game. Hi. Oh, those are fun problems to have, especially on a Thursday. Oh, there's a boy we could catch. Thank you, Spider Knife. I'm sure you are. Are you getting Tears of the Kingdom digitally or physically? Also, no spoilers. I don't care personally, but I know people care. I don't think anyone here would do it, but in case there's like a weirdo that hasn't said anything yet that would. Don't. <laughs> physically. Okay, I got you. I was about to say, I'm surprised you're not like <laughs> trying to start an, an incantation around your switch to make the time on it go faster or something. But physically makes sense. It's one where, like, I knew it, it would be good. It's a Zelda, you know? But I was reading the reviews and I was like, okay, I guess I'll try to play it sooner than later. If it's that good. You know, I thought it would just be Zelda good, not Zelda really good. So, here's where I'm at. Link is in it. Hey, hold up, hold up. Reminds me of that one interview that was uh, around before Breath of the Wild, where, um, who was it? He was talking about it again recently. I think it was Mike Minotti that interviewed A.G. Aonuma. And Aonuma said something like, Oh, well, what makes you so sure that's Link? Or something like that. And he, he was like, Oh, well, that must mean it's not Link. I gotta go write an article about this. And then Nintendo had to come out later and clarify, like, No, 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 that, that that's Link. That's Link. Please do not worry. N do not fret on the internet. So... <laughs> there was a time where Link is in it may have been an actual spoiler. <laughs> Understandable. I still haven't beat Breath of the Wild. That's like a weird game where I almost don't ever want to put a bow on it. Like, obviously you can still play it after beating it, right? But I I, I enjoy being in that world and just kind of playing in it more than the idea don't of Don't worry, it. Spyro. I won't oh, be needing any more up. of your money. Yo, Mykonos. How's it going? This is Joey. Hi, Got Joey. a minute? Let's get together and battle. I promise oh. things will be different. Route 30 is where I'll be. Oh. Give me a shout when you come. Alright. Later. Click. That's where I'm at. I'm literally right next to you. Why'd you call me, Joey? I'm right here. Come on, let's do this. Okay, well, hold up. I, I bumped into, like, a squirrel or something. <laughs> Hi, Spino. Oh, yeah, that's a squirrel. Thank you, Joey, for the calling bits. Oh. There's so much of Breath of the Wild I just haven't seen still, right? Like, I feel like if I beat it in my head, then I won't go back and do the rest also. Even though I'm presently not doing that and haven't touched that game in like two years. Still, the idea, right, the idea of it 
Is this Joey? This isn't Joey. I don't think this is Joey. Joey's the next one, right? Joey! We're gonna beat his ass. This guy said he took down an Articuno, like last week. This level four, top percent Rattata. Oh. At least I leveled on you, Joey. <laughs> that famous Poyo Poyo tennis phrase, doggone it. <laughs> Maybe. Oh. Joey the rookie. I know you will. I know you will. Thanks for the battle, Joey. <laughs> I think we beat Crystal version. We can go back to gold now. We can just play gold instead. Where we will also encounter youngster Joey. Likey. Ah, uh, my friend got it early. There you go. Hey, Joey only gave us 64 bucks. That's a little cheap of him. Only $64. Can you believe it? <laughs> Tight bastard. <laughs> Don't worry, soon we'll all be able to call each other over Twitter, DM. That's kind of... That's what people want, right? Use that money for dot my shorts. <laughs> I won once, why not win again? You don't battle, right? Pulls an MGS4 and buys an iPod. Understandable. Ambi has 40 hit points? Wow. Okay. That's what that says over there. Spider Knife birthday in an two hours and eight minutes. Yeah. Well, my God, happy birthday! In case you're not around later. Congrats on exiting your mother. There was um. There was that rumor that Advance Wars was coming out around my birthday, and it reminded me how nice it is when games come out around your birthday. That didn't wind up happening, but it is nice. Oh yeah, I guess we didn't go talk to our mom. Oops. Do we, uh... like a no answer, right? Do we want to do this? Is this ever worth it? I know she'll buy us like plushies and things eventually. Do I trust myself to not die a lot? This may be a question too. You can always just turn it off. If we decide later. Uh, let's, uh, what time is it? That's not, that's not Poke Gear. Okay, it's morning. Quaalude, isn't it? Paldea Starter?
Cold Storm is here, so I shouldn't ever lose. I'll find a way. Dark Cave. If Pokemon could light it up, I'd explore it. Okay. Alright, let's shiny Dunsparce hunt. The actual reason we're here. Music in Johto is pretty good. Cannot lie to you. Ah. Is Rocky the Onyx still in Johto? Not that I need an Onyx, but it might be useful to have a rock type to uh, tank some hits on the off chance I need to heal or something during Faulkner, right? I don't know. Oh, Brody, they did much worse than an item esque evolution for Dunsparce. Don't worry, they did much worse. And by much worse, I mean much better, but much worse. Ah. Which Pokemon man has the best default battle theme? Pokemon man? I'm gonna take that literally. In that case... I might say... Scarlet Violet's final boss, honestly? Maybe recency bias. Thanks, Toby Fox. There's a weird case, though, where um, if a lot of the Game Boy tracks were in non beep, non GBA, non DS sound fonts, maybe I'd have a different answer. According to JTART9, there's a Teddy Ursa in here, so... Yeah, Homestuck strikes again. It's like a virus in our Pokemon games, but we can't get rid of it. <laughs> You're not a Teddy Ursa. Alright, we're just going. We're here on account of JTARD9. There's no way he'd lie to us. If I'm taking default battle theme, though, to mean the best wild encounter music? Mm. Having to make myself listen to this. Because some of the... Some of, like, the trainer battle themes and gym battle themes... Or I guess just those two specifically in Johto... Build really well. And I really like them as a complete track. But I only ever hear the start of Wild Encounter music in Johto so often. Mm -hmm. Eh... 
Yeah, maybe maybe Hoen for just wild encounter theme. I like the Hoenn's battle themes all kind of feel like they build on each other though, right? Like, um, the trainer battle theme feels like an amped up version of the wild batter, batter, batter theme. Gym battle feels like an amped up version of the battle theme. Like, there's like a progression between Hoenn's battle themes that I like. Uh, I think, J I think Justin lied to us. I know he's right, but I think he lied to us. Hold on, let me look. I know Goldstorm confirmed it, but I need to just also look. Dark Cave, Route 31. Oh, Dunsparce is a thick, disgusting boy here. I like it. How we see him? Shuckle with Rock Smash here? Okay, interesting, interesting. It is 7.32 a.m., so we're definitely in morning time. And yeah, the Spyro soundtrack is weird on Spotify. It presents as the first one. It doesn't have all the tracks, which like might be because of other composers, right? Some of the mixing is very good. Some of the mixing isn't. Some of them are a little broken. Like, I don't know what's going on with that release. From what I looked at on the Reddit, people are like, yeah, this is just the same soundtrack release as last year that they said was broke. They just put it up again. And I was like, oh, okay. So what are we doing? I always like the suit bad sprite, by the way. Teddy Ursa can run away? Alright, we're safe stating that. Executive decision. If we see a Teddy Ursa at this point, we're going to save state on it. That's just nonsense for where we're at in this game. If I knew that going into this hunt, I might have said screw JTART 9. But now there's some cost fallacy. It is sad, like the few tracks I sampled, you know, I listened to Dark Cave. Dark Cave is where we're at in this game. That level in the first Spyro world, the first Spyro game in the forest. And I was like, eh, this sounds pretty good. This sounds like, this sounds good on this release. Which makes the state of the entire release sad. <laughs> Oh, you. Huh. So that's what you look like in Crystal. Huh. Bye! <sighs> it's him! He's sucking his thumb! Let's get him! I am saving. Okay, we saved. Look at that weird little freak. something going here. Let's see. <laughs> okay, hold on. There you go, Justin. You're not even here, but we did it for you. Ooh. Teddy Ursa, click. It always licks honey, always. I'm always saying this. Let's get the hell out of here. I also had no idea. I was just like, you oh, know, it's L-A-S-E-R, L-E-E-R, it shoots lasers, it must be something with lasers. Why doesn't it do damage? <laughs> Me when I talk to a 37 year old man.
I learned so many words through video games as a kid. Like the exp like expression. It's like in Sonic Adventure 1 when Sonic's saying, Eesh, no one ever cuts us any slack. I'd like ponder that for days as a child. Like, slack? What are we cutting? There's some Johnny Bravo episode title where I thought I'd said a swear when I said it out loud or something you're not supposed to say. Effectively, I thought I was saying Jesus Christ when I said the episode title out loud, something to that effect, but I don't remember. Like, criminy? Crisis? Criminy? Something like that. Must have been Crisis. I think it was Cookie Crisis. I think it was the episode where the little girl was selling cookies or something. I don't know. I was very guilty as soon as the words left my mouth. It's pretty hot here, too. Yeah. Ooh, we resist poison, that's right. Okay. Oh shit, it's Wade, the cop? Hold up. Ah, we missed Whipple Wednesday. May have overleveled. I kind of forgot how, um, so much along these routes are just level 2, level 3. $32? Cuckles' is fodder? catch you, but that'd be a good health to catch you at if I did. Alright, Sprout Tower is before... Ah. Right. What do you want? No, I just... See which way I came in? Listen to the music for a heal. It's Bell Sprout for Onyx, not Geodude for Onyx. Right. Duh. have this on OBS. I have Visual Boy Advance and then I have the display of Visual Boy Advance in OBS. So there's like a weird mirror effect and it's making me queasy. But I'm gonna have to rearrange all of this to make this cover this. So one second. This will make it grow, right? <sighs> it's, it's bothersome. Okay. One second. We got to listen to the music more. That one. Edit transform. Okay, here we are. Ooh. For some reason, I can't get the the click and drag to resize to work on Visual Boy Advance and MGBA windows. 
So we're stuck watching this. <laughs> Almost there. There we go. Okay. Ah, much better. It is very good. I like all of the Gen 2 town themes about equally, honestly. Like, pound for pound, they're probably my favorite in the series, though. Over time, I've come to appreciate stuff like Hoens and Sinnoh's more, but... This one... Something about Johto for me that just works the best. Look at that weird little freak! I want to save Sprout Tower for the third Pokemon we get, which makes sense. Hey, girl. No, hmm. I don't know what the third should be. I think I guess we could just raise Geo, dude. No, is he's weak against Bell Sprout. Hmm. Let's go explore our options here. Yeah! Don't talk to me. Slinkies. Oh, I can see that. Okay, okay. What a Karen. Arthur? <gasps> it's Arthur of Thursday! We got a hard stone! Oh, that's actually kind of useful. <laughs> By the way, there's ads starting right now. Run! Ah! Move? Oh, you can do that from the menu. Okay. Is that a crystal edition? I don't feel like I remember that in uh, gold silver. Let's see. Yeah, you can have this for now. Why not? Well, hey! I just want to see it. Oops. For whatever reason, the Pokemon being male or female is tied to its attack IV, but females always having a lower attack stat. Ah. Nice. Hmm. I forgot about that. That is the thing. Females have, like, higher defense or something, right? Let's see, so this is what, Route 32? No, this isn't Route 32. Thirty-six, right. We have at our availability here... Growlithe rarely in the day? Like, that's cool, but... That's kind of just good for Sprout Tower, and it would be good for Iggy Azalea, too. I think our, uh, stick to using new Pokemon thing may need a bit of a way here. Route 32. Because I feel like Fan P and a Growlithe could clear us through our next little objectives here. How does that work with female only? Hi, Tenalmas. Their only difference is whether their attack ID goes up or below a certain threshold. Oh. There was um, a guide I had growing up. I still have it. It was the versus book guides, I think. And they said females had better defense and males had better offense. So I think that's why I thought that. Classic. 
She uses the names of her favorite things to eat. For the nickname she gives to her Pokemon, I mean. I guess the gender symbols still don't read correctly. That's something to keep in mind then as we go through with this, huh? Weird. Okay, we'll go catch a Growler. I was sitting here thinking like, hmm, hmm, I was waffling, but... I may as well just... Hi. As for unknown, um, I know we could go there right now, but... Eh, I don't really want to fall down that rabbit hole at the moment. There he is. Oh, what a cutie patootie. But I guess we have to be sexist and not want the female ones. I know it'd work out the same, but I'm like, oh. There's a lot of girls on this team. Oh, it came back. Well, if it came back, that means we gotta catch it, dang it. Okay, it's got bite. That's a dark move. That's uh, something we don't have yet. <laughs> generation. Stream speed. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> uh, we'll see how it goes. By then, I'd hopefully have replaced it, but... I also never played through a Pokemon game with Growlithe, so I won't be, like, upset about it either, you know? Alright, I'm about to ask a question as I sit here and use extreme speed myself. <laughs> Is there a moral obligation to me using save states against Pokemon that run or use Roar? Maybe specifically use Roar. Let's say what use Roar, right? For that specifically. I know I've done it already, but I'm like, man, this is a crutch I'm already leaning on a lot. And I can go either way, but I don't want people watching to be like, oh, he's removing all the challenge. No, it takes up too much time as is. Yeah. Pokemon go to the polls. Honestly, I've never even used the Lady Bar. Or a spinner rack on a team in Johto. I always mainline getting right to Mareep and then I'm set. I'm happy. Don't save safer battles, just catching wild pokes. That's kind of what I was thinking, because, like, man, <laughs> he's just already going for it. Oh, it failed. making another cheeky old save state there. Ha! Ah! Why do you hate me? I will turn around and then you can use them. I just never get much use out of it. I always wanted to use Lady Bond, and Lady and then Spinarak and Ariados, but... They just always die all the time. There's a lot of Johto Pokemon getting love in recent years, and I hope there's something that can be done for them. I know early game bugs don't... Ah, we got him! They don't tend to get a lot of, uh, play, but... Or attention later on is what I mean, but, you know, it'd be, it'd be something. Oh, we still want them, just, uh, not for team use. 
right now we have such little money on anything that um, I'm probably going to have to forego catching a lot of things for a bit. Like, only getting balls for what's essential to catch, unfortunately. I forgot how, uh... How hard you have to scrape by in this game. Alright, so as I'm looking at our motley crew here... <laughs> hey, yours is probably not gonna hang. Geodude will take some hits in the gym in case we need to swap something out for a minute, but... Bampy, Chikorita, and Growla seems to be our team at the moment. He doesn't even have a fire move. Amazing. Uh, let's see... Sarah B, GS... BSC? Brain Scratch? GSC... Growla. When will he learn a fire move? Level 9. So around the time we're done with Sprout Tower. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> Bro, did this Bell Sprout Dynamax? Dude, Pokemon Theory? Oh. I was here like, man, how much am I liking this soundtrack so much as nostalgia? But I don't think I could ever move that aside to evaluate the music. Oh, there's Nico. Do you like Ball Spark Go Online? Oh. Come on. Look how cute Growlithe looks from the back! Huh? I always struggled to understand the pillar in the middle as a kid, yeah. I never looked into it as an adult to see if that was based on anything real. Oh, that is a lot of XP. Okay. It's still supposed to be a really big bell sprout. Heck, I thought there was like they made a weird pillar in honor of the bell sprout. That's all I interpreted as a kid. Huh. Best trainer battle theme. Probably still Jota, though. I feel comfortable saying that one. And Growl is just tanking it here. And we'll be super effective against Ghastly if there's any Ghastlies in the trainer's parties here, right? Man. Joey! Jesus. It's one thing to have it in-game. It's another thing to have it in-game and have it, have it be happening during stream. Bye, Joey! Let's go back there and, uh... People say that it became the center of the pillar here. Yeah. Which I, like, interpreted as, like, an urban myth or, you know, local legend kind of thing. But also, I'm not very smart. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, right, it was considered as a melee stage, wasn't it? That would have been interesting over time. So our tower is a very memorable part of this game. It was not like a Pokemon location you tend to think of when you think of Pokemon. Speaking of underrated soundtracks, like anytime the sun and moon soundtrack comes across my mind, like or on like on YouTube or something, I'm always like, it's a lot better than I remember it being. And there's like night versions of tracks too, which is a way to my heart. I don't know. I'm, when I get to Sun and Moon, I'm excited to uh, reevaluate the soundtrack there. It might be better than I'm remembering. So many bells, bro. Bringing out the Bubba. Poor Polka Floats, man. Smash Ultimate is just about everything but that. Ah, <sighs> what? <laughs> just give me the level. Night tracks going in and out of the series really is a shame. Like, the second we got those in Diamond and Pearl, that should have just become a staple. No, thank you. You're no beetle. Item up here? Oh, look at that. I remember basic things. I wish I could remember more from Sword and Shield. I remember hearing that bagpipe hit every time I went to a wild area. I remember the gym music. And I remember the title music. I feel like it's the soundtrack that if I heard it, I'd go like, oh yeah, to a lot of the tracks, but I can't recall them. But maybe that's because I played through it on stream for the first time too, you know? Like, I didn't have a organic <laughs> audio experience with that game where I wasn't just talking over it and focusing on reading chat and everything. But, so that one, that one might be my fault, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Man, the Sword and Shield streams, that would have been, what, three years ago now? Oof. Oof. Like I'm just extincting Bell Sprout at this point. Like this tower is to honor them, and I'm just killing them all. It is going up fast. That's true. That is true. Edmund. Does look very distinguished. We're already at the top. Back. I was thinking I'd have to run back and heal for PP, but I think we're going to get Ember before I need to worry about that. 269 nice points. Seven uses. We'll see. Take three bites. Ah, uh -huh, we're good. I like that too. That's why I don't 
tend to stream first playthroughs of a lot of things. Like, from Tears, I waffled on it, and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna actually do this on my own. <laughs> just to make sure I get the actual experience of it. I can actually, like, focus on it and think about how I feel about it. I'm not very good at multitasking, as you might have noticed over time. Growth. Alright, we do have the special split in this generation now, don't we? Right. Right. Neil. I thought at least someone had like a gasoline here or something. I know they spawn here at night, so I was like, oh, maybe there's a little... Maybe maybe there's someone has a gas leaf or something other than Bellsprout, but no. We're just committed in this place. Amazing timing. I think that was the last bite usage I had. Wow. Oh, now we get something. <laughs> well, this works out anyway. Who is a little bulky, I guess, isn't it? I was looking at that damage, like, that doesn't look right. Clock arm eyebrows. Oh! Huh, I see. <sighs> <sighs> I just thought they looked cool. Oh. It's nice to learn some things today. My trust is real. <laughs> Send a quill. Cool fish swarm right when I got the old rods, so I ran with one of them as my water type. Pseudo Udo, Caesar, Chinchu. It's a weird team. I like it. It's a very weird team. Seems like one I'd use. Or want to use, I should say. Oh. Right, there's a new cutscene bit here. Unless this isn't gold sulfur and I just don't remember. It's been so long. Good call, spider knife. Also, I should say for a doubles uh, message. For me, it never went away. I'm always, every second, thinking, uh, how do I look on camera? Am I saying enough? Am I being interesting enough? What am I doing? What am I not doing? Constantly, all the time, always. So, I get it. <laughs> Bye, J-Tart. You led us astray earlier. I gave you an escape rope. What's up, old on the beat? I just them on. We're all coming in here, aren't we? Oh. I forgot. Give two minutes on this prediction. 
Will I encounter a shiny Pokemon on the stream? This should be an easy one. It's a powerful painting of a bell sprout. Ah, <laughs> uh, this session, like just tonight. And we'll see about starting it again next time, maybe. This should be a pretty easy one. The odds are stacked against me. If you're voting yes, you might be cuckoo. But it would be amazing if you were right. We'll put it that way. And to be clear, since I've been a little hee-haw with predictions in the past, this is just general encounter. I'm not gonna do any weird breeding chain tricks tonight on a whim to get a shiny more locked in. This is just, do I run into one in the grass or something? <laughs> All in. 10,000. Goodness gracious. Oh, wait. When do you get the egg in crystal with the higher shiny rate? That's a thing here, right? We were talking about that last time with the, uh, the odd egg? Doesn't it have, like, a... Right in the daycare and golden rod. Okay. There's a chance we get it this stream, but it doesn't hatch this stream. So, <laughs> I'm still feeling pretty good for the no voters on this one. 20k. Kevin's gonna get them points. Mm-hmm. Got some gambling going here. It's all I've ever wanted. Alright, who, who, what are we doing? It's a 14% chance of a shiny. Problem is that for whatever reason, the stats for the Pokemon are all as low as possible. <sighs> I got a little spoiled by every Pokemon in this tower doing one point of damage to me aside from Hoo Hoo. Hoo Hoo. So now that it's doing like five points, I'm scared. Remember, one million points redeemers get a special, not worth it, twitch side bonus. Maybe that becomes the far-fetched of Johto, if it's a shiny from that egg but is awful. <laughs> Right. Flash! Yeah, brother, brother. It's a hundred thousand points in the pool. I didn't know that people had this many channel points, not gonna lie. This might get messed up. like to do now is buy a couple escape ropes. That seems useful, right? Then I guess we'll take on the gym. Oh, that's all my money again. <laughs> Sheesh. We're bumming. There's a public poll for you to pick a grass type. You're a fucking chump. <laughs> That's true. That is a lot of say hello redeems. Might need to limit that. 
actually. This will go well. Faulkner's big thing is just throwing sand attack around like no one's business, right? Okay. Sad cow sprite for Fanpy. Mud slap, which is same attack with damage. Right. That's what it is. I am bad at holding on to my money. I should ask her for a loan. Just a small personal loan, Mom. Yeah, Twitch is a little funky about showing the number uh, right away sometimes. There's an ad in 30 seconds, by the way, and by an ad, I probably mean like 30, so be careful. say we're sweeping through here, but we sure are cleaning up, huh? Something else I gotta keep in mind, I guess. Um, when we get Togepi... Probably gonna want to use it as friendship evolutions are a monster. Hmm. I'll be a chump and go heal. If only the fairy type existed in Gen 2. At least then I could be like, well, it's part fairy, so that's useful. Three Togepi, baby. Stack of defense curls and bulldoze Faulkner. Ah. boy hair. Such presumption he's making. Ah, uh, the birds and electricity, huh? I don't have an electric type, bro. You got a weird little elephant. Let me try the gold storm strat. With the disco ball, there it is. Oh. Oh. We're already only taking three points. That's something I didn't think about with uh, Growlithe until this second, also. I don't know what fan because of Mud Slap. Right. Yep, this is the play. Old Storm's got it. Alright, that should be enough. I never understood um, why it's like a dollar symbol. I doubt they intended that, but it sure is what it looks like, huh? Mm. 
Alright, there's one down. Something I want to look up real quick here. Fan P GSC move pool. Cause I've never used one, so I don't know uh I don't know what we're doing here. Oh, it's not good. Let me tell you, it's not good. Ah, I thought we were past the bad stuff. At least when he's At least when he's Dawn fan, there's Earthquake at level 49. Roll out at level 33 either way. We're not getting another move to flail at level 17, so I think we're gonna slap mud slap on this boy. And uh Take it from there. At least he evolves at level 25, that's something. That was later for some reason. Ah. Uh, oh. Hello. Why level up when you can use cut? Hmm. I don't want to risk a uh, critical hit going weird here, so I'm going to use a potion, and then I guess we win. Missed an easy prediction, too. The nose have it on this one, barring a miracle. One badge. That wasn't so bad. I'm so used to just having um, Kulava by this point and just embering the heck out of this dude. It's weird to do it with a fan beat. and offensive. We're just going to immediately use that. Thank you. Who's, uh... Could you do a Teddy or silver in this? No, they can't. We'll need to find a Flash user, because I don't want to use that on Chikorita. Mudslap has 20 base power, so even after stab, it deals less damage. Because Fampy's part normal, isn't he? No, he's not. It's just that weak. Okay. Oh! What, was it laid by Pokemon? Bellsprout gets Flash. I guess I wouldn't be against holding on to a bell sprout. Against. It has to be with other active Pokemon to hatch and grow in the egg. Same. Get that odd egg. It's just going to tell me what Pokemon is in it, isn't it? This overlay. Huh. Well, now we know how it handles eggs. And it's not often that eggs are a mystery. But now we know. The items on you? Right, I gave you the hard stone. Let me get that back real quick. 
I don't know if we'll have a rock type, but I'd rather hang on to this. Give me that. Things are gonna take hours to hatch at our rate. I'm good. That'll be funny, I promise. If yes ones I'm putting sunglasses on all the Twitch emotes. <laughs> mm. <sighs> Get a bell sprout. Bell sprout! Was there even one over here? Wait, I just assumed by default. Yep, here we go. Okay. So this means that if I use Mud Slap, it will not die. It must be a hair under half, then. Okay. Well, we can... Probably catch it? I have no shame. I will save state this. I don't care. I don't care! Screw you, Bell Sprout! Honestly, screw the Flash TM. That's the actual answer here. Thank you! Pokemon Go gifts to send to people. I'm a little dry. Not very liquid, as they say. Alright, Bellsprout. You monster. I've read that it's a little easier to get evolution stones in crystal, but I don't remember what the specifics were anymore, so maybe not. We're so poor! Hmm. <sighs> This way, do I? There's like a way over here? Right. Duh. I'll occasionally have a stone for you. It's better than gold and silver, I guess. This guy, you want, gives me miracle seed? I don't have to fight him. Mm -hmm. Thanks, random man in very claustrophobic path. That guy gives us Roar, if I remember correctly, the Roar TM. I'm just trying to shout out things I remember so I feel less dumb. Kill. I'm gonna turn my AC on us. So if you hear something weird while I speak, that's what's up.
Alright, so we're on Route 32. Seems like our new catches here are Hop Ip in the day, which I think is on the first route. And Whooper, but only at night. What a shame. And Coalfish if we had a super rod, as far as the ones we're looking for actively. Quagsire while surfing. Hmm. A lot of Kanto in these early routes, I have to say. Makes sense, but there's a lot of Kanto here. And with the Sword and Quillfish will show up on the old rod, yeah. Hmm. Lapras is Friday, deep in the cave we're coming up on, actually. Somewhere you have to surf to get to at the least. I don't remember you needing waterfall for it, but I only ever went out of my way for it like once, so I don't actually remember. Okay, bye. Just surf? Okay. Well, that's something. to restrain myself when we get to that gym. It's cool that so much of this game is built about built around coming back to it daily and doing things. Especially once you factor in all the Stadium 2 stuff. It's kind of a shame we're not really going to be doing any of it. But what do you what do you, what are you going to do? Yo, Mykonos, how's it going? Got a minute, isn't it? This Neoran is on edge. Why did you ping me in that? It's what you get. Joy's in chat, no one is safe. Now, Technica Relays can call us. I don't seem to recall her get, being worth adding. I fast forwarded out of reflex, sorry. Taking away from the epic co Pokemon Crystal experience. Why did I say. I was about to say Copemon? Joey will call anyone. Anytime, any place, we'll be there. <laughs> Copemon. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That's some pickup artist kind of shit. Roland? Where I'm like, did they redo the Nidoran sprites for Crystal, or do I just not remember what they looked like in this game? I think it's the latter. Interesting, though. Pink Lad. Alright. 
All right, let's uh, talk to the fishers. Which means we want Chikorita. Those are just taken from gold and silver. I see, I see. Oh, that's cool. Shame we're not using Atkins, huh? Reflect? Right, I guess I forgot. Weird. Reflect? At level 12? Alright. Sure. It doesn't have advantage against a single gym in Johto, does it? No. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Joey. <laughs> it's not you, right? I think it's this guy. Chuck's poly <laughs> Well, at least that's one. favorite trainer type. Man who sends out six of the same Pokemon. Alright, Fisherman Justin? Fuck you, J-Tartan 9. This is the kind of trainer he likes, too. No problem speeding through this jerk. Okay. Claire is too Cedrus. Hmm. Well, that's something. <laughs> oh, it's not you. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Three Dragonairs and a Kingdra. Okay. Well, Chikorita's just hanging out. I can't ever make myself dump the starter. I know there are people who do that, but I just... That's just the one thing I've never been able to make myself do in Pokemon. Like, whatever starter I pick, they're, they're going through me with me until the credits end. After that, it's more fair game, but... I'm at least seeing that credit roll with that starter having been with me through it all. That's my uh, controversial take in some circles. Until red. All oh, right, the second set of gems. Ah, mommy. Thanks. Don't these fucking kids do anything other than look at their phone? Anyway, here's my phone number. How could I ever forget the name Fisherman Ralph? I got pretty lucky on my now abandoned crystal playthrough. I got that, uh. I got that cool fish call before Golden Rod, I think? Like, I had to double right back to go get it. Bye, Wooper. Alright. 
as a cutscene where your starter pops out of the ball before you face the Elite Four. See, that's good. That's good right there. I like that. I'd like a slowpoke tail, please. <laughs> Kids don't have a million dollars? Go back up. Right on, brother. These two don't have anything worth saying, right? No. It's a hidden item in the alcove. Gosh dang it. I thought just one of the weekly people showed up. Or the daily people. I keep saying the weekly people. Alright, so now I can fish. That's, uh, something. Maybe above this. Here's an item. Oh, a great ball. What is this, Route 34? Right? Crystal Route 34 Hidden Item. We'll do a quick Google. No, this isn't Route 34. This is Route 32. Ooh, right? There we are. Alright, let's see. You get the Poison Barb from Frida. I guess I could set it up so you could look at Bulbapedia with me, huh? Whoop. In the dead end, north of the Pokemon Center. That's the one we just got. Patch of grass north of the pier. Old man. That's an old man? Southwest of the pier in a patch of grass. We got that. Yeah, I guess not. Weird. Oh well. Alright, check it is healed. That's just glowing slow. So going into Rock Tunnel, I probably or whatever this is, I probably want Chikorita, but Fan P could use some XP. I know we can hit at least some of the stuff in there. Oh. Hey, Peter. It's so weird, right? Like, I figure if he's gonna have an underlevel bird, give him an underlevel knockdown, right? Like, Murkrow? At least then you can go through the whole game being like, where the hell is Murkrow? And you find it in Kanto. <laughs> At least that'd be something. Hmm. Boy, Fampy, good job doing that.
If only Houndor was in actual Johto. Oh. That's when as a kid I always meant to catch in one version and trade to the other on a new save so I could play through the game with a Houndor, but alas. Never got around to it. Maybe someday. <laughs> you know what my weaknesses are? Be sure you give some of that to your mom, asshole. F fucking dweeb. That would have been good. That'd be a good place for it. Not gonna lie. That would make sense for it to be at the Burn Tower. You don't even need Flash for this place? What am I doing with my life? The white boy theme is pretty good, gotta say. Flash is just for Dark Cave. Ah. At least we can shove this bell sprout then. It's an ad starting soon, by the way. Be careful for any unadded people. And the Whirl Islands? Eh, yeah, right. Forgot about the Whirl Islands. Mud slap is so bad. <laughs> I know you told me, but man. Wow. That's awful. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Tackling this thing, I don't care anymore. And that one was the critical hit. This man paid a million dollars for it. You kidding me? That was Route 32. What's in Route 33? More Hop It! What's in the Ilex Forest? Like, I just want to get an idea of, like, ooh, what's the next thing I should go for? My, my. Hong Kong. There's Celebi in Ilex Forest. Route 34? <sighs> Drowsy at night, which you trade for Machop, right? Snubble? No, I don't... <laughs> no? <laughs> Krabby with an old rod. What about 35? This is a little more dire than I remembered it being. Really? Sudowoodo was coming up at that point. Wow. 37? We could find Stantler at night. Oh boy! Oh, that male sprite's cute. Tauros? Right, that's the mill tank. I 
I think these ideations of using uh, Johto specific mons might be uh, a little difficult to stick to, huh? Wow. Okay. Huh. I was just seeing what was coming up. Yeah. I was like, oh, what would I want to add to my party soon? And the answer was... <laughs> not great. I'm over here. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. I love sheep. But I'm probably going to pick Chin Chow. Chin Chu? This time? This says I still haven't finished a playthrough with Lantern. They really didn't want you to use all the new Pokemon, apparently, huh? <laughs> there we go. I do like Corsola. Hmm. I am fond of Corsola. I've never used it. And I didn't even get to use it in Gen 8 because we had Sword. So, you know. If there was like a Pokemon generation I was picking a shiny hunt as we went through this for some reason. I'd probably pick Corsola, honestly. But we're not. <laughs> Maybe on my own time I'll do it, but not on stream. That just sounds like torture. <sighs> I just remember. We're almost out of mud slabs, but there's like a magmar coming up, isn't there? is probably still my favorite in Pokemon, but alas. Is it you? Or am I just thinking of the fact that they're flame... flame breathers, fire breathers? I might just be thinking of that. Bill? I checked he's my favorite. I haven't like gone through and reassessed everything in a long time though. So like maybe if I went through all of them uh, that answer would change but in my heart right now it's still that. Altaria is very high up there too. Uh, Flygon was one of my favorites when I was young. I don't see much of Flygon in recent games so it's been a while. I don't always think of Flygon immediately just because it's been so long. Strange wars from deep in the cave on weekends? It's drinking this now, so it's very solid. Tell that to Pokemon Go. Oh. I wish it was better in Go. Can Flygon learn Cut? Great question. Sounds like you should be able to. When I think of Flygon, I think of casual HM Enjoyer. I can fight you now, right? Okay, maybe not. Just fly? Really? Wow. I have no idea. Huh. Poor thing. Oh, it's Larry from Paldea. There's only one Larry in the world, and here he is. I 
It's hard to take any Slowpoke users in this area of the game in good faith. See, that's the specific specificity you want. Okay. I found Fire Emblem Awakening. That's pretty cool. I'll tell Justin. Oh, that's something I didn't check. Um, what's in Slowpoke? Well, obviously Slowpoke. Zubat and Slowpoke. It was worth a look. There is the off chance there is a new thing added in Crystal down there. Stream have to go get a ghastly at night for some catching ease, right? Because like it really doesn't seem like we're gonna get a lot of good options anytime soon. That's a whole pick, so I need to swap out. Yeah. Cause it gets hypnosis and mean face, right? I'm probably going to want to do it eventually anyway. There's gosh darn legendaries. Gengar gets the elemental punches. That lad. That's better. Flash! Well, on the bright side, we have a Pokémon that will destroy this gym. And we have a Pokémon equipped to handle... Slowpoke. So we're kind of set for a little bit here. We can try a tanking mill tank with Chikorita. Poison powder and seeing how that goes. No, Ralph, not right now. Don't save it. What? <laughs> Wait, I've been spending more time with my Goldeen than my kids? I'm gonna heal and go back and fight that guy, because good god do I need... I feel like I need experience. I know I'm not that far behind right now, but I feel like I need it. Especially with the, the rivals coming out there after the gym. He's a mean boy. This guy calls me about Dunsparce over at Dark Cave. Sure. I guess someone had to. Mmm, Chikorita resist it, right? Oh, that's a weird sprite. What a weird little boy. Oh, Chikorita does not resist it. There we go. 
Machop resist me, that's what's up here. Never mind. seeing some tweet years ago using this route as an example of Pokemon games being too easy nowadays. This one? Like this one specifically? Is there something difficult about it in comparison? Or like the cave maybe? Weird. Beautiful. No notes. What a good one. Alright. I'm updating my living decks. I don't have a Chikorita anymore. I have a Bailey. It is because right after Cave, you didn't get an opportunity to heal in between. People aren't as sneaky as I am, I guess. I slipped right by that guy. Now granted, I've avoided some catches I could have been doing, but I love that we're coming up on the second gen, and we've caught... three Pokémon from this generation. <laughs> Oh, you know, Bill's PC? Oh, we get Eevee's before too long. That's right. Oh. I'm trying to remember the secrets of events here. You don't have to do the far-fetched thing for a minute. Make some balls? <laughs> anyway, now that you've here and I've said all this, I've decided to take action. Ah! I said balls, so if someone could laugh, that'd be much appreciated. Doesn't one of them give you charcoal, or is it after you solve all the stuff here? Might be after. Thank you for laughing. Balls. Hi, Kurt. Hey there, Mykonos! I broke my back! <laughs> don't worry about how I get up the ladder, just don't think about it. After I catch the far-fetched. So we'll probably want to double back for that then. Gotcha. Team Rocket Battle Team. Pretty good, by the way. Bayleaf is, and people are mean to it. Can you believe it? Damn, one shot it. You show him Bayleaf.
We did it. Sure, we've been cutting their tails off, but they like it. Run. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I remember that tidbit too, right? It was like they don't feel it, it's just like still unfortunate that it's happening, kind of thing. If that isn't said anywhere, then I definitely told myself that at some point. Mud slap paying off already, let's go. Slowpoke tails grow back fast. What's wrong with selling them? Great question. Oh god, I forgot about the overworld slowpoke sprite. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that thing. It's like an Undertale character. That's a bad thing to say. Honestly, kind of a moat worthy. You're very true. Teddy Ursa. Can I barely soaking up all the XP, I guess, even if it is real easy to sit here and press tackle over and over? acceptable. Do bad. Just the dick on mud slap even more. That's right, it does have mail. Be good and look after the house. Be strong and wipe. <gasps> We're coming up on be strong and wipe. Oh, poor bide. That is straight up a move I used just once and never again.
think for my own sake I'm going to elect. It's okay to speed up more. Because, oh my god. Congratulations, Bayleaf. Let's slap my way to red. That sounds like something I'd see on my homepage with like 200,000 views. Like I played Pokemon Gold and Silver, but I only used Mud Slap or some bullshit. Way to go. Now they're gonna bother someone else. And also my back's fixed, let's go. Hi. He's like meant to be an old man, but the sprite just makes him look like mohawk, you know, goatee kind of mustache, tank top kind of deal, you know, like some kind of young punk. You can beat the game without jumping. There's some um, ball glitches in Gen 2, right? Uh, there's some things that don't work properly with the Apricorn Balls. Now let's see if we ever remember to get that. <laughs> they just largely don't do their gimmicks. Useful. <laughs> All right, it's time for Growlithe to get some experience. I like that all the slowpoke come back after you save them. No, that's cute. I like that there was at least a little Pokemon gimmick tied to the uh, at least the first two towns. Not all of them, but you know. Help! Here's my help. If you don't have these things, fuck off. Ugh. Oh right, you don't double bet on them, they just both give you the encounter state and count as one trainer. Right. Damn, Lady Ba. Alright. I thought that was gonna one shot. Huh. It's very, very green. Go. That's what I wanted. Double goodness. So we're two hours in. I want to do a controversial move here. We'll take a few minutes away on a break. And then bring us back in once the next ad break has ended because ads are starting in two minutes. So I'll be away for a handful of minutes here to, uh, <laughs> unsubs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll be right back. Hold on, hold on. Give me a few here. This way no one misses anything. Ah! Wow.
Happy Pride Month, everybody. Came back right in time. I'm gonna build? Yo, congrats. Hope it's a smooth PC build. You're tasting tea. I'm trying to remember, the gimmick with Scyther is it has whatever move keeps building its attack every time it attacks, right? That was the thing? So I imagine poor Growlithe here will still be able to do pretty okay. Fury Cutter, that's what it was. My mind was telling me X Scissor, but I knew that was not correct. I was just looking at it because it was on King Gambit. And I was using him last night. deep into the darkest recesses of the night at like 3 a.m. We can one-shot a Caterpie, so that's something. I'd like to use Heracross. Not to be controversial, but I think I'd like to. I keep getting it stuck at the very last bit! What are we doing? I miss Joey, too. <laughs> the halcyon days of Joey posting. Alright, we've seen a ton of Weedles. It's a Pokemon we've seen a ton of. I'm just gonna start speeding through them if we can whoop them. We have 16 gyms. 15 gyms to get through. And a lot of Kanto Pokemon to roll through before we see Johto Pokemon, apparently. <laughs> I did have Heracross on my previous team. It was going good. He's with Lantern in the Pokemon I'd like to finish Johto with crew, I'd say. Oh, bye. Okay, welcome back. <laughs> Mudslap may help against Whitney. That's actually a good point. We've been clowning on Mudslap, but that would actually probably help a pretty good amount. Yeah. Good call, good call. Ooh, let me burn Beedrill. Okay. Very true, Benny. Is there one over here? Yeah. Paragross is strong enough to straight up defeat no tank without any trickery. Well, there you go. Oh, Paris. I was about to ask something out loud, then I realized, like, I've just been making people with things up for me this whole time, and that's not fun. Headbutt is in... Ilex Forest. You have to go past Celebi Shrine. Okay. We can do that. And there's like a calculator that tells you where your hair cross is, right? Yes, there is. Cool. All right, we got that sorted. When I got the last hit across, I remember there was like a image that you would like look at and sort through, but there is a calculator. Let me actually put that in chat here. It's not secure, so be careful. <laughs> that that didn't work, but if you copy and paste that, it will. <laughs> uh. I 
pretty unfortunate, and I think mine was just here in Azalea Town. Alright, Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to bug Pokemon. Palm. Talking about Pokemon I forget about. <laughs> Return the monkey. Talk about Pokemon I forget exist though. Foratress? Man. Going right to Scyther. <laughs> oh. It must have heard the mean thing I was about to say about it. What the hell? That's not much better. Oh, now, now it's using it. Okay, now we're getting... Now we're getting it using the move that lets me win. Fortress looks awesome in Scarlet, and Shiny Fortress is the one in Scarlet Violet where I was like, this this finally makes sense to me. I finally get Gold Fortress. I went and hunted one down just because I thought it looked so neat. And Kakuna. I guess it's GG's, right? Poison Sting might hurt, but... Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I, uh... Thought that would be harrowing in a different way, not from quick attack, but... Alright. If you have it, up to level 30 will obey you. It's pretty good, considering where we're at in the game. You discovered it? You didn't make it, you discovered it? Alright. Aw. Yeah, not a single Johto bug. Like, imagine if that was where you found out Pineco existed, right? And you just explode on you or whatever the hell, and you went like, Whoa, that can happen? Or self-destruct, I guess, by this point. You know what I mean. Beginning of the city too makes me think of last Christmas. <laughs> okay, I hear it. I hear it. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to shake that now that you've put that into my head. <laughs> Tart. What an impractical but cool pose. 
Okay. I thought Ghastly went first. That's good. I can bite it. Jinx feet. I looked at that. I didn't let myself process that one. That sure did happen. Oh. Shaking through it here, huh? Sakulava? Yep. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, look at the boy. <laughs> I'm sorry, J Tart 9, but it's mud slap time. using my trick against me. <laughs> for all our mudslap memeing, we sure are going to be stuck with it for a while, so we better enjoy it. Oh my god. <laughs> that looks great on the stream chat, but in my chat, oh my god. <laughs> what a mon nightmare. Oh, Bampy. We got a tank with Growlithe. And yeah, right? Like, I could have just swapped out and not even thought about it, but I mean... Why, you know, why why not just keep trying to attack anyway? Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Growlithe. <laughs> huh. Take that, Justin. This works, because Typhlosion is actually Justin's favorite Pokemon, so... I didn't think about that when I named him Tart 9 after Chikorita, but yeah, that makes sense. Huh. I'm going to be strong and wipe. <laughs> uh, not explaining that one. Okay. I don't need to hold on to Bell Sprout. So you can get in there. Why is he so angry? He's got a lot to work through. Oh, it's hatching soon? Oh. I mean, if it's that close. not that close. <laughs> that really had me thinking like, oh man, soon. There we are. I just need to see the number go up. I'm sorry, I had to focus on it. We got a new Johto Pokemon! <laughs> we finally got one! Oh boy. That poor overlay is trying.
Yeah, I know what I said about needing to use it to level it up, but I'm now looking at it like, oh... What do I do with you? <laughs> I'm gonna switch train like a mofo. The Bellsprout lives on in spirit. We, we got rid of him, but he sure is still there, huh? See the whole body on that bad boy. <laughs> if only this was X and Y. Or this little Togepi. level on Togepi. How about that? You are promised an all-Johto run. Well, we had to do something. There's not a lot of Johto, boys. <laughs> this is the best we had. as a lumberjack. Just without the cutting down trees part. Oh, man. If I want to use Espeon or Umbreon, I'm going to be trying to friendship evolve two Pokemon soon. That's horrifying to think about. Uh, I just remember it took so long to get Umbreon the last time I played Crystal. So long. Oh, uh, we got Metronome. So give me good now. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Qua. Uh-huh, okay. One good thing I remember about Metronome from being a kid is that it let you see a lot of attacks you probably wouldn't have seen otherwise. Air blast calls here. Cotton spore. I don't want to copy the stat changes of enemy Kakuna. Well, maybe the defense ups, but not the speed down. Bunch. 
Heracross can learn Cut, right? Like, that's just a move that'd be okay for him to have. I'm thinking about that Bell Sprout we dumped. Oh, Eldegoss? People love Eldegoss. Where is it? Down here? I saw it on the way around somewhere. Where are we at? Level 8? Alright. Turns out all you have to do is speed everything up and it works out. You need cut to reach Heracross in the first place, though. I saw an item down here, and I was hoping that was Headbutt. I see. Where did I see it? Oh, wait, I picked it up. Alright, Bell Sprout, you win. For now. Bro just keeps racking up the W's. I like that you get something for thinking to go back and talk to them. It's not so essential that you'd be like, oh man, I wish they gave that to me right there. But it is a nice little bonus for going back. this speed up I'm doing is making it a little more likely for all the uh, yes voters from earlier, right? I don't think it's tipping the scale that much, but you know, it's something. <sighs> you can cut from the overworld. You don't have to go into the menu. I'm making progress, everyone. We're getting somewhere in this game. The sky. Is this headbutt? Anthony. Oh. I see that it's happening. We have to go back. They're making tack in the power of Juju. THQ's 2018 promise. This is the headbutt guy. Right. Now here's a logistical question I'm gonna ask because I think Goldstorm would probably know it offhand. When you get that call, what's the time limit on going and acting on it? Like when do the Dunsparce um, disperse? Nobody should call my phone IRL in the middle of these streams, because my phone is my webcam, and I'm pretty sure that would just break everything. I mean, it'd be kind of funny at first, but... <laughs> Sometimes sleeping Pokémon fall out. Yeah, I bet they do! We're running! We gotta go all the way back for these bad boys. You have a big grace period? That makes sense. We had some discussion. Like, oh, what's the far-fetched of Johto, right? And we threw out some hypotheses, like Apom and Corsola. Dunsparce. Totally Dunsparce. Dunsparce is the far-fetched of Johto. I don't know why I didn't think about it. Togepi's level 9 now. That's... something. Looks like it lasts all day? Oh, we're so fine then, we got nothing to worry about. Hi Onyx. Totally 
Manitoba Piss. I also just assumed it was an hour at best. As a kid, I was like, oh, I got like a few minutes. They're on a run. If you missed what happened there with my reflexive speed up, Togepi ended up using Psybeam at the very end. So that's helpful. Another thing to worry about. What's the catch rate on the Dunsparks? Alright, we're kind of halfway there. Pokemon. I can go this way now. Oh, look at this. Dunsparce is a high catch rate. It's higher than Fanpy? Let's go. <laughs> I forgot that this guy was a weirdo. <laughs> How are people streaming Tears of the Kingdom today? Uh, they probably have an Australian account and purchased it with Australian dollars because it unlocked in like the morning in Australia or they just pirated it and are emulating it and pretending that they did the Australia trick either or I see people do that when the new um, main Pokemon come out they'll set the like Australian time and play it early that way or they'll do like Japan or something. Oh, also, yeah, it's out now in uh, over in the UK and such. It's coming our way. The rolling availability time. I I've been putting some thought into this recently. There's no way to market this, right? This is like impossible to market, really. Also, happy birthday, Spider Knife. <laughs> By the way, totally forgot. But I was like, it'd be cool if they just picked. Australia time zone is like this is this is patient zero and then depending on where everyone else is in their time zone at that point this is so hard to do it just unlocks for everyone at that point but you wouldn't get your it's releasing on Friday marketing thing if it comes out over here and like Saturday or Sunday in Australian Friday right but give me something Oh. Here's a use for you, Bell Sprout. One slot feels like a good weakening move. My beloved, there he is. He's so thick in this game. Look how thick that boy is. Sorry, that girl is. Oh yeah, Bell Sprout. Bell Sprout can weaken it. I think I only ever got one Dunsparce as a kid in gold and silver. I could not be bothered after I caught it and was like, oh. Hmm. Got him, boys. I've had that cry echoing in my head after hunting the shiny three segment. It's just all I hear sometimes. I need to go read what Goldstorm said. What did Goldstorm say? If you breed up a... Come on, OBS. Help me out here. If you breed up a shiny Dunsparce, you can clone it and make them spawn with different data in Gen 9 by just leveling them up at different rates, since the natures of Pokemon taken from 3DS VC games is based on the last digits of their total experience count, so you couldn't just brute force it until you get a 3 segment. That 
Sounds like work, but that is something. I might look into that just because it sounds kind of fun. And... Yeah, for what Spider Knife said, if no one answered it. Sometimes, East Coast, I have we have to wait till West Coast midnight, right? So, like, when Advanced Wars came out, I got it digitally. I had to wait till, like, 3 a.m. for it to unlock my time instead of midnight. The Shiny to Dunsparce hunt is really dumb, and that's why I did it. <laughs> <sighs> I already got one, but it'd be fun to have one from Gen 2. Technically. It's virtually emotionless there. Something I didn't realize until I was looking at Dunsparce on Bulbapedia the other week is what else do you do with your life? It's supposed to look like one of those old Japanese sake bottles also. And I think it's... There's a pun on either Tsuchinoko or the Japanese name for Dunsparce. That lines up with sake. And I was like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Look at the lad! Look at him! Look at her. All right, now let's shiny hunt. <clears throat> yeah, at least it's not a Hawaiian time. Oh, no kochi in the gram of Yeah. Uh, 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 need to click done sparse on my website. Where are you at? Sorry, I'm looking. There he is, 206. I forgot that you could get items here. I thought you were just confined to that little area. Amazing. Am I attacking Crobat again? I have to do it in a later game. Because if I export Crobat from here, it'll read us from Johto. So at some point from Sun and Moon onward, I have to raise uh, a gold bat from my red blue. Oh. Sorry. I just wanted a few more encounters with it, because it's. I've only seen Dunsparce in Gen 2 like two or three times in my life on my own. I never bothered to look at this thing back then. It wasn't until recently I gained an appreciation for the sparse. I also just kind of looking like maybe I want to boy one just in case, right? There might be some weird fringe reason to want to boy one for breeding. was quite sparse. And done, might I say. I'm only seeing females in here. There we go. It gets ancient power. Let's go. It's set by level in later gens anyway. Right. And takedown, which is why I had to hunt it with a Cerule Edge and Scarlet. Mm-mm. Dunspar is kind of thick. the wall plan. But I have a plan.
We're gonna poison it so it'll love us. Okay. Next turn, we're gonna poison it so it'll love us. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I'll just camp this out. Do I have two great balls? I feel like using a great ball on a level two Dunsparce is a bit of an issue. We'll see how this goes though. Guess we're using a great ball. We got a boy Dunsparce! Thank god. <laughs> Been like a two stripe Dunsparce. I have to imagine the Dunsparce is at least okay. Because your rival in Scarlet Violet uses a three segment one. Like when you fight her for the last time in that game, in the main story. And her whole thing is that she's such a super duper awesome trainer, so it has to be pretty okay. Nothing else. Alright, so... Just one more time to appreciate it. Amazing. Wow. Beautiful. Incredible. I need to teach something headbutt. I don't feel like I want headbutt on... any main party members, right? Like, maybe Fampy, but... Is it better than Tackle? Hold on. Sandy... Silver headbutt. Headbutt has 70 base power and 15 power points. This is Sun Moon. 70 base power, 15 power points. Tackle has... 35? Okay, I guess I do want that on him, huh? Swap out tackle for that, and we'll just have him be a head butter. Tackle in the power, Juju. Ugh. I want to not be alive. For Twitch Weagle, that's a joke. It's a pretty cool spray, huh? Okay, let's see here. There is a new Pokemon Terry in a bit. It's Chesnaught. Looking forward to that. Alright, we're here on the Headbutt Calculator. We are in... A town that's not supported by the map thing on here. So I guess I gotta go down a route. Hold on. Route 32. Oh. This is neat. Okay. So we can find Pine Co on this route. I'm looking at this correctly. Ah! So I just have to go through and look for a red one. Look for that star will give rare counters at the 80% counter rate. So, 
that one there is what I want. Below the tree you cut. And that's where a pine cone would be? This is a neat little thing, huh? I don't have any balls, though. Oh, we have money now, thank god. <laughs> In Minecraft, yes, exactly. So this one? Sleep too. Well, I need a fan. I need a hoo-hoo also, right? Wish you could see what level it is. I'm very help. I can't even use it. It's not not very effective. You just can't use it. Level 69. Yeah, I bought some uh, in Cherry Grove. No worries there. It's a sleep too, which will help, right? Oh. If you switch tonight, the pine co will show up asleep and give you better catch odds. Cause it's probably got self-destruct, doesn't it? more sense. Alright. It took a while, but we're getting somewhere. Oh. Oh, there's Joey. Joey's retired is looking sharper than before. He doubts there's a Pokemon as cool as this guy in my party. And took down a Caterpie the other day. Can't be helped with them being so tough. Anyway, bye. Thanks, Joey. Uh, okay, let's see. Pokemon Crystal Time Reset. D is five seven three four five yeah. four thousand nine money. So our password is twelve fifty. Just to be safe, move save, and we'll reset. I also need to re look up the weirdly complicated button combo.
bunch of nuclear code. That's definitely night. <clears throat> they should release the line of smartwatches modeled after Poke Gear. They could have a fitness slant, and you could evolve your Pokemon on it, and insert little SD cards with different Pokemon loaded on them. So I'd rather them just go to Bandai Namco and have it work on that thing. But that would mean letting Pokemon and Digimon touch, and I don't know if they want that. There he is. What you see versus what he sees. He's, uh, he's awake. I think we messed up here. This might work. Just saying, this might work. We got him. Pine Co. right there. That's what I like to see. So I will go with here. 204 is Pine Co. He evolves at level 31. It'd be my luck if the second headbutt was a crit. Trust me. It spits out a fluid that uses the glue tree bark to its body. The fluid hardens when it touches air. Alright. Now I know... You can headbutt from a lot of trees. Do later headbutt trees spawn higher level Pokémon, or should I just get a second Pineco here? Because I'm thinking I need to get a second Pineco just right now while we're here. Uh, Heracross is back in Azalea Town, so we'll be getting to him next. All the same, eh, let's just go ahead and do it. <laughs> no around Lake of Rage, there's later level ho Hoots and knockdowns, so I don't need to worry about that right now. There you are, Justin! We've been shit-talking to y'all stream. By we, I mean I. I didn't think about this when I put your name in for the rival, but um, the rival's got the Cyndaquil line, so you'll be happy to know. Jtart9, the rival, is gonna be rocking Typhlosion. We got Teddy Ursa, and we decided not to use it, so it's just sitting. Tart 9 showing up at the same time. Before now, I'd never seen him in the same room. Let's protect. There's a weird sound on my mic. I turned my AC on. He's getting a little heated in here with Justin showing up. He's getting angry. Yeah, Honey Tree Munchwax. Not looking forward to that one. That one, uh, that'll be a thing. Oh, I knew it would happen. I knew it would happen! Alright. Good luck on Nintei, by the way. Second best move behind Mud Slap. Ah! 
Roaming legendaries are going to be fun. this place we're getting out of here The idea of roaming Pokemon is so fun. Makes me think of like the Pokemon anime intro where all the Pokemon are running around, you gotta look for them. I guess it makes me think of the Pokemon anime, the idea of being in the world of Pokemon more than the anime now that I'm processing and articulating this thought. But it's like, oh, you have to look for this Pokemon. You can't just go to the one location where it hangs out. Like you're gonna actually Travel and search far and wide if you want to find this Pokemon. And like on paper, I'm like, that's great, that's awesome. Yeah, more often than not, it just isn't fun. <laughs> it's just stressful and all that stuff. Also, we changed it tonight. We can get Wooper now. So that's a plus I didn't really think about. Horizon Zero Dawn with catching instead of writing. <laughs> Roaming gimmick does work better in the modern games, for sure. Uh, they float that idea in the second Sword and Shield DLC with the Galarian birds. And granted, they still kind of hang out in like a general location, but you then have to chase them down instead of just going and guessing at the route they're in. To me, that was when it finally made sense to have, like, a roaming Pokémon. Now, if on top of that, it was then truly random and you had to actually go around the big, dumb, open world and find them, then I think that would get it to a point where I'm for it. It's like, it's like almost there. But I definitely like it more than <laughs> um, the prior way of handling roaming legendaries. Hi, Wooper. Now, you can catch uh, Quagsire later. So I'm not going to catch another one here. Because I want to raise up all these Pokemon in Johto with its level curve. Uh, no. Actually, no. Not that I don't want a flying type on my team, but by hoot hoot. This is what you get for existing. Alright, and I've already calculated um, on the website where we're going to look for Heracross. So... In Crystal, there's a 30% chance on a rare headbutt tree. Trees where I can get Apom. 
But Apom's also in the rare spots. Do I have... I think I have a username that doesn't let me get it here. Haha! Oops. Guess I should have looked at this a little more intently first, huh? Alright, what's, um... The Ilex Forest is what it sounded like. Alright, let's see. Working from down, up. Right there. Right at the start of Ilex Forest. Cool. That's not bad at all to deal with. Oh, yeah. We gotta hunt a male one, don't we? checking. Yeah, literally this one right here. Cool. MP did a headbutt is interesting way to phrase that. Is this correct? Yes, it is. No, I'm dumb. It's not here. Ah! I just assumed Heracross would have to be here. No. We only get the Kanto bugs and Hoot Hoot in this tree. Normal ones can have Pineco. Oh my gosh, I'm a combo. I wish this had, um, more places. Okay. <laughs> Gotta tell you, the Chris trainer ID sure did spawn a... <laughs> uh, sure did spawn a Heracross tree in Azalea Town, and that was pretty convenient. The Mykonos one might be a little first. How far back do we na need to go then, you know? Not that one. That's, that's much later. There's no hair across here. None here. None here. Wow. It's not even like not very common on these trees. It's just you can't. Celia Town. Like, unless I'm overlooking one, I don't have... That I was. I was. It's right there and I'm stupid. I'm a Dumbo. <laughs> Crisis averted. Yeah, Megahorn <laughs> level 54. I do remember that. Out of all the things I've around, I do remember you have to wait all the way to level 54 to get that move. Oh, Lord. This one? This one. <sighs> Easy. That's a female. I'm gonna kill this one. <clears throat> I 
This one just happened to be in the way. It itself didn't do anything wrong to me, but it's a victim of circumstance. Thank you. would have been pretty sick and smash, not gonna lie. There's what we want. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. This might take a minute. I don't need to get a second one for the Mega. You need a female one, though. <sighs> this might change down the road, but as far as I'm concerned, if I get one from the original game, the gender difference one can come from wherever. I'm not really ready to be that hung up on it yet. That may change once there's an end date on Pokemon bank transfers, but for now, that's how I feel about it. Where are you? Number 214? There you are. Nix is Sneasel. Okay. Herculean powers. It's Raikou again. That's what you get, Justin. You monster. Tackle, Leer, and Horn attack. Yeah, that's the boy. <clears throat> Is Jigglypuff still in the anime? Great question. <clears throat> I like to think it showed up in that, uh... Um, 13 episode wrap up series they did for Ash at least, right? I don't know how frequent Jigglypuff was at a point. I think maybe we were just supposed to accept that uh, Jigglypuff was happening in Smash. It did? Oh, okay. There you go. I guess then it's like, how often did kids <laughs> watch those specific episodes? Two old men with white hair if you look purely at the screen and don't know what's going on. I like that. Okay, let's see. Oh, you can just buy it in here. Cool. Oh, it's okay. I had it mixed up. Hmm. <clears throat> I need another short break. I think I just saved. It's the last episode before the epilogue started. There you go. How far am I planning to run tonight? Um, at least another hour. At this trajectory, it makes sense to end on Whitney, right? But we'll see how it goes. I'm thinking at least another hour, probably, and wrap it up. Alright, we'll tackle that thought in a second. Be right back. Oh.
I, um, return to another phone call. It's Joey. It's always Joey. Let me tell you, his retard is looking sharper than before. You know, like 20 minutes ago. <sighs> yeah, man. I hope he calls us again in 20 minutes to talk about it. I realized I forgot something back there. Yeah, so excited for Heracross. And I forgot about Apom. You know what I mean? We've all been there. That's not it. I saw the, the Spiro sliding in, and I was worried it was shiny. Does it look really suspicious if I cut the break and came back and instantly got a shiny? Game on your chopping. hard problem to diagnose because I can't stop the music to listen to it. Listen to it. Listen to it. How do I usually handle this? I went options, audio, and I went, oh. And then everyone was always like, ah, it fixed itself. Better? Not this time. Hmm. I changed it to 44 kilohertz and it worked. I'm a fucking genius. Should be crisp as hell now. Your vape pump can even show up in this thing at night. So it's like it doesn't specify anything about um, night only. Also, a palm shows up in normal trees at this point. So I can double check by coming up here. will need I think that's over half let's see what happens here it looked like if I hit it again it would have just Barely survived. Ah. They gave it turf bangs. I don't know what makes bangs turf specific. I'm sorry you feel that way. Is incredibly specific. So I'm sorry it happened to you. <laughs> I 
So if I want to attack it now, it should be barely alive? I'm just looking to mangle this thing, not kill it. There we go. That should do it. things being annoying to catch last time I was doing this. <laughs> it reminds me of Scarlet and Violet before the last major patch or the major patch before it where Pokemon would go asleep but their eyes wouldn't close. It was... I don't know how there's a lot of things about Scarlet and Violet where you're like, huh, how'd this happen? That's one of those where I'm like, how'd you go and do that? Didn't want to use a Great Ball here, but... Sure seems like the play now, huh? Another thing I'm going to um, now remember and keep in mind, False Swipe is a thing. So as nice as it is to get this Apom, I might wait till later to come back and get another, because I don't want to use all my Pokeballs on this. <laughs> Let's see, Apom 190. that way then. I forgot that the bug catching contest is only on specific days. Oh, look at you. I have to remind myself here. I just need, uh... I'll look at Heracross's upcoming Endora at 12, Fury Attack at 19, <laughs> Counter at 27. Yes, okay. Right. Ah, so I'm trying to raise Heracross and Togepi, who I've already forgotten about in the excitement of the shiny new Heracross. During reversal. Oh, look at that. Pokemon fell victim to the I tried to use it for a bit and it wasn't good in red blue for the minute I tried to use it so I never tried it again factor quite harrowing really all oh, right sweet scent that's a thing I feel like that's going to be handy at some point. Maybe not in this game, but at some point. I thought it seemed weird. 
I thought he was just going to be like, Uh, you made sure to get the head, but thing over there, right? I don't know. This is a whole battle. one down. I wonder what a second Pokemon will be. Oh, it's not Spinarak again. Okay. Well, there's me done. Take that, Wayne. Say you're my friend once. Don't mind if I do. Those two are our physical attackers, Chikorita's defense, and that's all we'll ever need, baby. Man, they really played up the that Celebi, but we're not saying the word Celebi thing here. It was excruciating as a kid. You're like, why can't I have it? You keep talking about how it's here. Tad, I'm fast forwarding. Honestly, it was a bargain. That's a lot of channel points. I wonder how no predictors are feeling right about now. Probably pretty good. Is that many centrits? At least Sandshrew and this guy is novel at this point. It's something. I guess. <laughs> Must be a hard balance between uh, keeping some sense of variety and not spoiling Pokemon you're saving for later, I guess? Because, like, I look at all of this stuff and it doesn't make sense to me, but they must have very specifically wanted you to encounter Pine Coal in the trees by yourself for a while, right? Like, I think Fortress is an Elite Four, four but... I don't really remember if it's around anywhere before that in the trainer party. Not the way I would have done it, but... No cursing! Franken Mutt. You silly billy. Turner Cross would never pop up unless you used Headbutt. They never appear on opponent's teams. Uh This guy is Snubble. That's something. 
Oh. No. Okay, I caught back up. <laughs> Grab back using the map and found it. Use me look and it nearly roared you away. Ugh! Not only do they have mean look, they have roar, right? Ugh. I... Uh... Do they both have roar? Like, if they both have roar, then pick your poison. But if only one has roar, just in case. I feel like they both have roar. That reduction stalemate here, huh? Oh my god. One of the few trainer battles so far that has used an item. Boy. That was where I arrived as a kid, also, Frank and Mutt. I was like, why wouldn't I just use the Master Ball on the annoying thing then? No Tank and Turo, so right after. Yeah. I never used Snubble. We'll be saying that a lot of Pokemon throughout all these, but it's never bothered, really. Picnic or Gina? gives you stones, right? There's some reason... She at least can give you her number. She offers a leaf stone sometimes. I remember that you maybe wanted her. Uh, sounds worth adding for, then. Why not? Oh! Bye, Hopip. A Pokemon we could have been seeing a lot more of, but haven't. <laughs> We're about to. Incidental XP since she gets a Venusaur later. Okay. Okay. Poop. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I changed my mind. Growl is back. Don't, don't mind me. heal hair across since I'm trying to raise him too. Oh the sight line on this guy. God Can Camper Todd also call you? That name sounds really familiar. Like I remember all these names, but some of them specifically. Just really stick out. I'm okay with having it spoiled, I don't really... I don't really mind knowing what's going to hatch out of it. I want to say everyone in chat has a different opinion, of course. In which case, I'm totally fine either way. This guy's a rematch guy. Thank you. I knew it was something. I just couldn't remember if it was useful. Oh, that's why he sounded familiar! He called when I was playing my other save file to be like, Yo! 
the goldenrod, there's some stuff going on there. But... I went in and all the prices looked normal, so I couldn't tell what the heck was going on. It's only on the roof. I didn't investigate up there because I thought it was just the sodas. So we're in Goldenrod now, Land of Opportunity. And the very first thing I'm thinking is... Oh, uh, I'd like to... Um... Pamper my Togepi? It's Bill's house, this is the underground. Oh, right, there's trainer rattles here too. They play the cave music in this thing, which always messed with me. Let's see, up here. This one. No. Name Raider? Right. Behind the golden rod. Hey! I see. Cheaper Ultra Balls and Proteins. Yeah, this doesn't sound bad. This is the golden rod Kevin's PokeTuber account. <laughs> Justin, good luck, by the way. Whichever one you leave to chance. Slowpoke gives a pretty decent amount of XP, all things considered. And we'll be with you soon. Yeah. Now looking forward to it. Of course, I'm save stating like a cheap little lad, so, you know. There'll probably be a point where I throw my hands in and get a little cheap. and better of the two haircut brothers. I want my brother to be poor, don't go to him. A little happier. A little happier! Oh, so cute. Ah, look at that thing. You're there. All right. <laughs> Justin is sitting on his 3DS the way he wants me to sit on him. Yeah, I found a coin case. Sack? How do you give a haircut to that? At least he's got a weird Pokemon early game. That's cool. I'll send my fighting type. He is using cut. That's interesting for this game at this point. What a dude. Squan boozled a little bit here. Still in the main player thing of just using the strong move over and over. That's my job. Okay, we're good. Don't worry. We're fine. <laughs> Thank you, Heracross. I 
Eric. I'd love to know how Grimer helps you cheat at slots. You can fuck up the slot machine with it, but... Wait, when did Frank come out redeem no cursing? <laughs> Hold on. 809? I'm in the clear. Whew! Rammer's using James Harden, man. That's all messed up. I know you did, Frankenmod. I know. Don't worry. I know. I'm used to feeling pain. Ah, poop. Interesting grimer sprite, by the way. Oh, critical hit. Okay. I uh, will take that. So it could be level 14. Given it a haircut. We've healed it. We've used it in battle and leveled up. Uh, somewhere around here is the woman that tells you the friendship level, right? Right side, down over here, maybe? You? <laughs> you look sort of happy. Oh, we're at sidepokes.com. This is where I'm gonna get the info. Okay. It looks sort of happy, it means their happiness is within the 150 to 199 range. switching over to browser view on this one. You wouldn't be able to read this on stream. When... When the happiness quota is 220 or greater, that's when it'll evolve when we level it up. Okay. So we're getting there. What else can I do? There are only a certain number of ways you can affect your Pokemon's happiness, and each way has less of an effect as your Pokemon gains more happiness. Amazing. If you walk 256 steps with a Pokemon in your active party, you get a plus one. If you take the Pokemon to Blue's sister Daisy in Pallet Town for grooming from 3 to 4 p.m. specifically. Give the Pokemon vitamins? At our point, it'll give it plus three happiness points. Usage in important battle, like gym leaders and leveling up the Pokemon. The Haircut Brothers... Ah... Uh, fun. When I use an item on my Pokemon, it acts really glam. <laughs> Hammer arms, stone edge, earthquake, wood hammer, and up and down bluffs. Huh. Uh, sounds doable? Right? Kinda? It's almost straightforward to get a bike in this game. time as a kid to learn that sell means select and not literally sell it. I was, a uh, very smart. Good point, Spider Knife! 
Fuck the cops. Bubba's back. Oh, I wish Justin was here to push the Keith Lee button. Double Intimidate? That sounds doable. Oh, wait. <laughs> Gosh darn it, Growlithe! By their Growlithe, I mean... Their Growlithe, I mean their Growlithe... Or... Don't ask questions. Two punches back to back, that's lucky. I didn't split that XP the way I wanted, but at least we got it. You're a tough little kid, aren't you? You little weirdo. Joey! Oh, Joey wants to battle. Well, let me zip right over now that I got this bike. That's the first thing I want to do. Alright, let's go uh, over the bug catching contest and try to remember all the weird mechanics around the bug catching contest. That's Cerebi.net. You get 720 park balls, of course. You can only keep one Pokemon. I feel like there's more info for the bug catching contest than this. Like, I remember there's a certain Pokemon you can catch at a certain level that, like, guarantee that someone else can win, or, like, if you do it at a certain time or something? Like, some weird stuff. Four times the max HP of the Pokemon, the sum of their other stats, up to 29 points based on the IVs, one eighth of the current HP of the Pokemon rounded down, one point of the Pokemon is holding an item, zero otherwise, the maximum possible score in this version of the contest is 386, achieved by catching a level 14 Scyther with maximum IVs in every stat and without dealing more than 7 damage to it. Each NPC contestant has three possible base scores. Five of the ten NPCs are randomly chosen to appear in the contest. This is what it was. And each of them randomly receives one of their three base scores, plus a random bonus of up to seven points. Right. There is just one of these. If youngster Samuel catches a pincer in Generation 2, it will receive a score between 22 and 29 points. But no pincer can evaluate to a score lower than 293. We're going, baby! Fud! I love score bottles. <laughs> well, he was fucking wrong. Pokemon to sleep. This was a fun call, though. I've never used it. I won't be this playthrough either, because we got Chikorita, baby.
Same, bro. Oh, it's Elliot. Creepy. Yo, Meryl! You found one! The Pokey God himself. Surprised it survived that, not gonna lie. Alright. <laughs> it's a real sad situation unfolding on this route. Ugh. Here's that little creep. Oh, you found Ente! They're hanging out. They were getting drinks until you disrupted them. Understandable. Instead, tots. Let's go heal up real quick. And Tay and Chris have the same haircut. I see. <laughs> Mud slap to the rescue. <laughs> MVP, I'm telling you. Random thing, thinking about the Johto Legendaries has me thinking about the Kanto Legendaries. Where'd he go? I forgot how sick the... the Johto sprite for Moltres is. Look how cool that looks. Honestly, all three look pretty good, but... I was just something that popped into my mind of like, Oh yeah, I saw that earlier. I meant to mention it. Pretty cool. There's the boy. Eric Cross. Legendary birds are programmed to have a chance to flee if an encounter with them is forced to be a cheetah hacking. Like in Gen 2? Huh. Even if it is Gen 1, interesting. Oh. I forgot how nostalgic I was for the, the red ground around Diglett. Seeing that sprite again, is like, oh, yeah, I like that Diglett. Mmm, there's some door. Now work retail? Oh. Oh. That's sad. I get it. That's sad. It 
That's one thing about these playthroughs. Now I have a fondness of Diglett that I didn't have before. So I'm digging that. Why did I open this? Let's go. Are you the one with the drowsy? Level two? What are we doing? I forgot about the rare trainer class of I have the same four Pokemon, but in increasing levels. Problem fast forwarding through four Voltorb in a row. <laughs> hmm. Oh, right, you can call, call this guy. I'm not dangerous, I just want to call and chat about everything and nothing! Mm. A little uncomfortable. Walter. This is the fire breather with a magmar. I knew there was one early game. The guy over to the right calls about Yanma swarms, I don't want that. I need two of those weirdos. Or I guess with fast forward, I could just sit here and grind it out. Either or. size those options up and use Ember. What am I doing? <laughs> Alright, Magmar is going ham. Alright. Yeah, I was just thinking about that as I was going through it. I was like, you know, we got some issues with fire on this team right now. <laughs> Um, I was also thinking, there's no reason to not have Fury Cutter on Heracross right now. Like, it would take a on-ramp to getting useful when I need it, but I'm not going to use it other than on Heracross in the meantime, you know what I mean? So, like, I should at least have a bug move. Okay. Speaking of bugs, we get this phone number. Eh. Eh. There's a couple more fights. Jigglypuff could maybe solve my I don't have a way to put Pokemon to sleep issue for right now. This thing doesn't have a lot of accuracy, but it's a way to do it. Fury cut our chain on Clefairy, and by the time it's knocked out. Right. I think that is actually what I did last time, so that would make sense. Hmm? 
We got it. Gasly makes more sense, for sure. Especially long term, but... For right now... Unless there's one around... There's a 5% chance on Route 31, Route 32, and Route 36? Which one are we on? Thirty-five. Ah. If I... If I did Whitney first... We'd have pretty quick access back. But do I have access to it where I don't have to grind out this level? Eh, that's the real question. I think Jigglypuff feels like the right call. Which water is a good question? Probably Lantern, still. That way we have an electric type also. Arnie. You're having it rough. I sped by all that, but man, oh man! Hi, Mom! What are you getting it fast? Hmm. Gen 1 Remix, right. Right. I didn't even want to play. I didn't pick up the hot egg. I honestly don't remember where it is. <laughs> Almost. Grind it out here. Oh! Hi, Togepi. I was going to not send you out, but I guess we're sending you out. Is that the daycare? Oh, right. For some reason, I was thinking another Elm aid gave it. Uh huh. Well, uh, um, well that happened. Alright, Togepi, you're about to level up, so I'm not risking it. Party got smashed here. Alright. I'm gonna heal. some party management here. We don't need Bellsprout at the moment. And in terms of just doing the bug catching contest, we don't need Growl.
Oh, I see! There's a dilemma. If we don't want to evolve that, that's a new fire type that's Johto only. <laughs> Incredible. Sing, defense, curl, and pound. Fire Punch Magmar was giving me some business a bit ago, I gotta say. Because if I was real messed up, I could just be like, oh, well, let's just hatch this thing right now. I need not only wound up over there, it's only pressing up and down. I'm not actually gonna hatch this right now, but when it's this fast to move up and down, might as well get some steps in, right? Let's go with the bug, bug catching contest. Cool. It does help with friendship. Just <sighs> mm. in case it goes south, I don't know, I'm making a safe state. I don't care. It's a bug catching contest. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, Molectabuzz's anime cry. That could happen at some point. <laughs> oh, the quick claw lady doesn't show up if you're doing the contest. I guess that makes sense. Get some uh, weed pods and chat, bros. Back to back weedles, bro. I haven't been this happy since the divorce finalized. You know what I'm saying? Let me stream on Twitch all day. Use this grass patch anywhere else in gold and silver. Ah! All right. Pulls up. Am I allowed to cheat? Is Weedle still banned online? <laughs> it and Kava Grigus, maybe? I've got four yes votes so far. Not to rig this, but I feel like we could stop the count, so to speak, and be set. I was going for a Scyther to have a false swipe user. Mm, 
And you can only do the bug catching contest once at a time, can't you? Uh, I'm gonna apply these votes to the Scyther if we find it. We have four yes votes. Get yeah, fucked, JTART9. It feels messed up to run from a pincer in the bug catching contest, I gotta say. That, that didn't feel right. Butterfree? Hey, what's up? Oh, come on! Justin! Uh, happy Mega Pincer Day in Pokemon Go, by the way. He's officially in the game today. You have to go raid for him. Have, have fun. What's up, Objective Binary? We're cheating. We're not cheating as hard as we could be, but we're cheating. Let me close that poll. I can't get Caesar in this one, actually. I could! But I can't, for what I want. So I'd need to then get an additional Caesar. Ah! Made a safe state. <laughs> Getting one-shotted by Scyther, as Goldstorm predicted, would have been pretty funny, not gonna lie. There's no tension. I'm just going to do this until it works, so... Keep that in mind. <laughs> the poll said I can cheat. Alright. Yet again, I made a save state. And didn't need it. I'm just going to say. <laughs> it just keeps happening. Alright. Well, we have our false swipe user. That's cool. I guess we can end the bug catching contest now. Oh, you don't get to look at it, right? Level 14? Eh, we can go back in there, why not? Do you not get to heal? We can give it a berry, but I can't go onto my bag? Wow! That's kind of messed up, actually. Wait, no. Nope. We'll get there. Barry. That's the one. So now the new move is I'm going to make a second safe state. Alright, we're good. Level 14 pincer, naturally. At worst, um, this puts them all seen in my Pokédex, right? Granted, I think I've already seen them all... But, you know. You ate for a side quest. Monstrous. So many pincers. I was about to say, it hasn't activated by now.
But can it only... Is it so fast that it'll go first no matter what? So to use focus energy sometimes. There's the play! And I get my berry used, okay. I should uh, make a save state now since we're cheating. Okay. Is there a point to the different types of grass? I think it's aesthetic. They were originally going to use that grass in the Safari Zone in Kanto. I don't know if it would have had some significance there. Might be a thing where um, it was going to have a different purpose, but didn't. But they were like, well, we already made it. May as well put it in here. Ah, where's the level 14 Scyther? Save state of contest dependency if everyone's scores change. That'd be interesting. Good job, bug catcher Josh. Did all the winners get Scyther? Cool trainer Nick! So it can change. Interesting. Barry and his Venonat. I'm second. 335. What was his... 375? Is there a way for me to win this? That is quite a range. Very even in that. 331. Me. What this tells me is that the Scyther we got has bad IVs. Same result each time now. Jakuna? Me. And then a scythe through a 362. So it seems like there's a way to do it. Just really gotta get lucky with the scythe we have. Seventy-four. Jesus. This isn't worth doing. I'm just looking at those like, man. Third is a gold berry. Gold berry does seem better than Everstone for my purposes. surprised if the RNG thing weighs in here. I wouldn't be surprised if it is frame-based also. Thirty-six. One more point than me. And a pincer. That's fine. I don't want to win this anyway right now. Whatever. Who cares, bro?
I know in recent Pokemon games that's definitely a thing. I've seen a lot of RNG manipulations to get like shiny Pokemon and stuff like that. 30 HP hold. Okay, yeah. Well, our Jigglypuff served its purpose. Honestly, didn't expect that to go as smoothly as it did. There's somewhere with like a little gap you can go, right? Um, Pokey Link just uh, shows them all as male in the overlay, apparently. That's just the way it is, I guess. But, um, what is it? Did have a female at some point. Jigglypuff's female. If the Magby was male, it would have been a guaranteed shine. Mm hmm, interesting. Man, now I'm curious. Now there's a bit of me that's like, well, we got it. We got a hatchet. Print out the Pokemon That was the thing. Forgot about that. <laughs> Forgot about this one, not gonna lie. Is this dig? That is dig. Oh my god, look at you. Maybe Donovan can learn to dig? Let's see. Nope. <laughs> ah! At least in Crystal you can get water move as an egg move on Vampy. Ow. God, that's bad. to go all the way to like the Elite Four with him, but uh, Mud Slap. What if it was Dig instead? <sighs> what level is the experience to kill it? 604. I'm gonna save these trainers. We've done some walking around, so I'm gonna get a better idea of our friendship with Togepi. After I heal. Oh. Sudowoodo can learn dig, just saying. <laughs> well. I've never used Sudowoodo, I can say that with certainty. I didn't expect Don Van to learn dig by looking at it, but I was like, if only. The thing is, Don Van learns Earthquake at 49, so I'd almost feel like I'm wasting it at that point. See the as low kick? That's not the Pokemon I want to check. Sort of happy? Get out of here.
This is the way Pokemon was meant to be played. On the Game Freak supercomputers that they still use to make games to this day, this is how the game would run. Anthony? The hiker? No! This is the Dodrio Tower experience. True. Hmm. Huh? Alright. Here's the best shot any yes voters from the prediction had of our shiny. I think it's normal. Isn't that the Mr. Mime Sprite? Yeah, it's more of a pink. Some of them are weird though. Charizard Shiny is like a purple in this gen. So I'm always a little like, hmm? Oh, so I did say no egg shinies, that's true, right. Well, specifically I said I wouldn't do any weird tricks, but I think this would fall under the shiny criteria of not allowing it, for sure. Man. Shiny Magmar would have been kind of cool, though. Get the hell out of here! was enough for that. And where does Togepi now? Not good enough. There's an offshoot of the cloning glitch that is used to respawn the odd egg before the Pokemon is assigned it. Oh, weird. So, like, I don't need to get Togetic right now. But I'm kind of sick of Togepi taking up a space on my team at this point. And honestly, I feel like we're going to cut through the Whitney Gem pretty easily. Not to be controversial. This is one point every 256 steps of happiness? One, two, three... Like about 72 steps one way. I do have hair across and mud slap. I don't really know what could really challenge me in this game. So up and down is 144. Every three instances is a point of happiness by Togepi's current measure. Ha! Ah. I guess it's better than making a Pokemon your buddy in Pokemon Go and having to walk 10 actual kilometers to evolve an Eevee. And, I guess if I use Togepi in an important battle, it gets more happiness points. Alright, there's our play. I'm going to take one little trip to the restroom. And we'll come back and finish this off. And I'll try to take long enough for the ads to be done. Be right back. Oh. Ah.
realized I think I forgot to up the count with Magby, who counts for this because he has to come from Johto. Boop. Welcome back, everyone. Okay, let's get uh, Whitney wrapped up here. Type Pokemon, don't mind if I do. Johto is similar for me, actually. If Kanto was a little more lively, it would be the same thing there for me, too. Kanto is just missing some stuff Johto naturally had. Alright, here across. You little weirdo. And let's start getting used to spamming this. Maybe not. <laughs> I forgot how we 
weak Fury Cutter is at first. Oh, that wasn't much more, was it? Hmm. There's no trash puzzle, literally. Also, I still got Jigglypuff with me. I gotta get rid of Jigglypuff. Oops. Ah, oh, well. Whoa! Nice! Good for you. It's ironic that I was planning to heal <laughs> Peregross immediately. That's better. Meowth is kind of busting me up, though, I gotta say. Alright, well, there's a run back with her tail between her legs to heal moment. Goodness gracious. Remakes, I, um... At present, I don't need anything other than Deoxys from Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. I want to say I get real weird with the GBA stuff and let some events things in. Which I may, I'm not sure how I feel yet. I'm leaning toward yes, but you know. Recreate the Aurora ticket event for Fire Red. Well, I have Fire Red, so that works out. Thanks to everyone's generosity with um, bits and subs and such, I did order the GB Operator, which will just let me clunk um, my GBA cartridges in and access the save data from those and write to them and stuff. Uh, same for Game Boy titles, actually. Thanks to everyone for that. I have that, and that is... When I mentioned the GBA thing that we may have to wait for before going to Ruby Sapphire, that's, uh, that's what I was referring to. And for that one, we will have a vote again, since I don't have Emerald. So there's no ideal version there. I forgot when I mentioned doing Emerald last time that I don't have Emerald, so... We'll be picking between those two. Every time I look on eBay, it either brings me pain to look at Emerald, or I'm just looking at a bunch of reproductions and I go, ow. All those calls from Mr. Jolly made a difference. See, so yeah, they added up in the end. Is Emerald more or less than our gold soul silver? Great question. Kinda, I feel like. There's more repros of Emerald, so like if you look at Emerald just on eBay without being scrutinizing about it, it's cheaper, but finding a legitimate Emerald cartridge is a challenge. But then again, there's a lot of repros of Heart Gold, Soul Silver too. It's like the worst, most popular thing to be into secondhand that I can think of. If you weren't there getting them when they came out, in a lot of instances, God help you. It's 
as we here don't have Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon, and those are still retail at the moment. Who knows how much longer? <laughs> Everything hurts. Okay, so level 17, Central. Oh god, I didn't even think about Pokemon Conquest. I do have it. I've never thought to look and see how much it would be. Oh, Heracross getting saucy. You like that? I never looked up how much a PAL version would be second hand. Ideally, I'd want to be able to use it with um, any potential GameCube stuff, so if I'm going to invest in Emerald, I'd want it in TSC copy, but I'm not at that point in my life. <laughs> Complete in Box Conquest is $92. That is less than I thought it would be, but oh my god. How games can interact with Gen 4 carts? I don't know. Honestly, I still have to remind myself that Game Boys are region free at all, so. I uh, actually have no idea. What is hair across the text? 41? Should have been using Heracross a little more. This might be a uh, slightly dicier than I thought. Yeah, Conquest, I figure that either stays there or just goes up over time. I don't see a world where a warehouse of those gets discovered or some weird nonsense and it goes down. Hell, when has any Pokemon game gone down secondhand? I guess the Let's Go games. <laughs> uh oh. If, um... If my bonus disc isn't too scratched up, I do have the Colosseum bonus disc that gives Jirachi. That's, uh... That's an equation I'll need to tackle down the line. I have the means. Shiny on that Jirachi, that is a thing. No! Alright, 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 alright. We bought these items, let's use them. There's a small dip after a 3DS release. That's cool. You probably do the Jirachi bonus disc with all. Okay, okay. I do own it. It's within my rights, gosh darn it. If worst comes the worst. It, it's one of those things where, like, I know I still have my GameCube, right? But I haven't, like, visually confirmed that I still have it in a very long time. So it's like, I know it's in this closet somewhere? Just, if you just told me, like, go get it right now, though, I wouldn't know where. It's a little piled up in there. Oh, my attack got reset. I'm gonna scream at you. Not really. I don't know, I'm not taking anyone's Pokemon games, don't worry. I'm not being that guy. But thank you. Here across. You little... little monster. Okay, so that's one more battle we can squeeze in. I'm going to Potion. And Heracross will level up after that. I thought about getting rid of my GameCube after the Wii, but... 
the Game Boy player was too strong. It was too powerful for me to get rid of the GameCube. I don't know where that disc is. That's the one that's real expensive secondhand. <laughs> that's a separate issue. <laughs> Maybe tonight I'll just look for these things, just because we are creeping up on these things. Yeah, the Game Boy player, right? I don't want to... I don't want to have to reinvest in that disc. I know it's somewhere. It's just the last time I went looking for it, I didn't have it. Maybe after I have dinner and do that chestnut raid. Alright, Fury Cutter's working nicely. Toga be back in. Uh, let's let her cross hog next. Just ask Johnny to get it for me from Gerard. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> oh man. If only I could ask Johnny to ask Gerard, the Dragon Rider completionist, that one video gamer, the bearded gamer, Khalil. Get that for me. Doth may have a mere follicle of thy beard. Thou beard? I barely speak American English. You booted and the BIOS is on. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, I'm gonna re charge on my fury cutters and we're gonna beat the hell out of Whitney. God damn it. Mmm, the wave bird. Yeah, that's something I that. I think I, I don't remember if I talked about it on the stream. There was a time like 10 years ago where I just started hunting down the Pokemon game secondhand when I first got my first job. And I imagine a lot of people do apparently going by their prices. Back then it was a lot, but it was reasonable. Like I got Ruby complete in box for mm, an amount, actually. I don't remember, but I just know I was like, yeah, I'll pay that. You know, it wasn't like <laughs> crazy the way it is now to get a complete box GBA Pokemon game. I had a bid of $29 on Leaf Green that I guess I lost. Um, I didn't win Pokemon Emerald, which sold for $25. No, that was box only. I think I was trying to piecemeal it. I paid $30 for Pokemon Ruby Complete in Box on January 28th, 2013. $30. That was like MSRP. <laughs> Maybe it was 40 on GBA, but... Pokemon Pinball Ruby and Sapphire sold for $13. I only wanted to bid $12.50 on it. Talk about hindsight. I got Pearl that way, I got Platinum that way. Got crystal at some point. No box on Crystal. But, you know. It was like... Doable back then. Feel silly scoffing at some of those prices now. Oh well. What can you do? I'd rather than pay more. Or steal it. Hope it comes to Nintendo Switch Online. Hi, Whitney! The baseball player. I've seen like a e-reader ticket homebrew like dot matrix printing scene sprout up over time and I feel like if I was ever going to get into it that's probably the most reasonable way 
but it'd be cool to have the actual thing for sure. Yeah, of course I switched into the five hit. That's more like it. Okay. Now we set up. If I pause this uh, to heal, does that break my strength gain from Fury Cutter? I think it does. Oh my god, it's metronome. Beat up? Oh. It does. Classic. I am looking into the future and seeing how this is about to go. thrown a uh you're throwing some rope there selling them at a markup with a ticket data save amazing that sounds about right gotta love people I think we are in the clear now assuming he goes to roll out and doesn't use some other move that just sits on us I think we're in the clear. As long as we don't miss a move again. Which is possible. Mm. <laughs> ah, okay. Now it begins. We got this, though. <laughs> Get the one slap. <laughs> if Bayleaf gets s s just absolutely swallowed here, I don't know why that's the word I wanted to use, but it's the one I did. I'll have to swap Fampy in and get some mud slap going. begun. It is truly and well certainly begun. Ah. It might be too late. Ha! Huh. You can do this, Fampy! You got a reflect in, or a mud slap in. All right, Growlithe, it's all on you. Oh right, milk drink. Guess who forgot about milk drink? That was a critical hit. Oh my god! Whoops. I just thought it'd keep. I just thought no tank would keep using rollout. It's been so long since I've had actual issues with Whitney. I was like, we're just gonna go through here and make this work. Oh, it hurts. Do I have a revive? Who's the best option here, you know? Is it Bailey? 
Bonky? Champion's Mud Slap. I feel like it's between these two. Fuck it. Amazing. You're attracting a child, you weirdo. Last Gold Storm. You even put too late. I'd already made my stupid decision. I don't want Togepi to die. Oh. Uh huh. Okay. So I can just keep on using Mud Slap. The people's champion. The true MVP of Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. <clears throat> it's gonna work. Eventually this is gonna work. That was me knocking on my door out of, uh, out of anxiety. God dang! <laughs> huh? Thanks, Vampy. You can't learn dig, we can learn flail. Let's go. I guess that's better than growl. And... Togepi didn't die and lose happiness. What if Ampy did have Dig? Personality they didn't have to do, but they did. God bless them. We have the plane badge now. And we have an ad starting soon, so that seems like a good time to cut it by. Well, that was harrowing. <laughs> I've fallen in favor with people over the years who have been like, oh, Winnie's not that bad. People just make it a bigger deal than it is. But then I've come along and just completely prove it all correct, so whatever. <laughs> but he's like a baseball player. It's like only alluded to in like very specific old artwork of Whitney from the time. And I think it's maybe mentioned somewhere. But yeah, she's a baseball player. That's uh that's her shtick. She's maybe also a pop idol. Been a long time since I looked, not gonna lie. Uh, okay. Here's where we stand. Mine is Jigglypuff. I don't want Jigglypuff. Get out. You don't get to share this moment. Alright, I'll figure out some more of this stuff. At some point... Oh! Look into that Whitney Baseball thing. I, I swear that's probably true. Oh. JTAR9 link. This previous page is sending you to Whitney. Baseball... Artwork from the Game Freak website. There we are. She's got a catcher's mitt. I knew I wasn't making that up. <laughs> it's such a weirdly obscure thing, but it is a thing. Okay. I'm gonna wrap this up before the ad in a minute. Thanks everyone for hanging out for five hours. Honestly, I could keep going is the worst part. If I had the time, I could probably go for another two or three hours, which is scary. Also, speaking of scary, good point, I should say. Is there anyone I want to raid? Ah, uh, no, we're good for tonight. I'm just gonna end it and go eat. Save. Cool. 
Oh, and I need to end the prediction. Let me... Let me find the place on Twitch that lets me end the prediction. Because it isn't the dash me end the prediction. Because it isn't the dash me end the prediction. Because it isn't the dash me end the prediction. Because it isn't the dash me end the prediction. Because it isn't the dash me end the Someone do it for me? Thanks, Justin! Okay, that was fucking with me. Enjoy your channel points, everyone. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go. That's about it, see ya. Probably be back Monday. Doing the same thing some more time. Thanks for hanging out. Enjoy your gaming.